Hi, hello, and welcome everybody to another episode of Natural Juan. And this time, we're going to continue our quest in Warlock of Firetop Mountain, the fighting fantasy book. And remember guys, this is an unscripted video, so if I make a lot of mistakes, don't be surprised. And anyway, what else was I going to say? Yeah, if you want more content like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications. So last we left, we were on paragraph 77. Several meters up the passageway, you arrive at a junction where you may turn either west or east. Set in the rock on the north wall is a small recess where you may rest and eat provisions without being seen. If you wish to take provisions here, do so. Afterwards, you may set off either eastwards, turn to 345, or westwards, turn to 18. So, yeah, and last time, I already told you guys, I already ate my provisions so it's down to zero but at least my stamina is back to 10 it's not 15 yet but at least it's 10 I'm not dying or anything like that so yeah so what do we want to do let's turn eastwards to 345 let's see where that leads us yep oops okay so this is 345 here. You follow the passage eastwards for several meters, then it turns to the north. Shortly, you reach another junction where you may either go straight on, turn to 381, or you may turn right into an eastward passage that soon turns north, turn to 311. Okay, what I want to do is, I want to go straight up, so let's take 381. 381, 381, let's go to 381, okay, 381, the passage ends at a wooden door, trimmed in iron, various inscriptions adorn the door, but none make any sense to you, you listen but hear nothing, you may either open the door, turn to 84, or return to the junction, turn to 280, I think I'm going to open the door. Yep, let's open the door and see what's inside. Okay. Mm, not that far. Say 52. Yep. 84. The door opens into a small room, comfortably furnished with a table, several chairs, and a large bookcase which covers one wall. Seated at the table is an old man with a long gray beard. In squatting on the old man's shoulder is a small winged beast. This creature is no more than six centimeters tall. It has two arms and legs. Its skin is a dusty gray color. It has tiny sharp white teeth and its wings are folded behind its back. The old man says nothing as you walk in through the door. Sorry about that. But he beckons you over to sit down at the table. He is tossing in his hand two small white objects. Will you? Sit down, as he tells you, turn to 204, leave the room and return to the junction, turn to 280, draw your sword and rush forward, turn to 377. I don't know, maybe I'll talk to this old man, let's see. 204. Okay. 204. The old man does not look up from the table, but his devilish little petite, his devilish little pet eyes. Okay. The old man does not look up from the table, but his devilish little pet eyes you suspiciously and starts chattering in a small squeaky voice. The old man grunts and asks you whether you are a ga you are game for a wager. Will you accept? You may only do so if you have at least one gold piece with you. If so, turn to 130. If not, you may either leave the room, turn to 280, or attack the man, turn to 377. I think I'll use my gold piece here. So I'll go to 130. Yeah, I, I remember getting one gold piece at least. So, yeah. 
Let's go back and see what happens. Yep, 1.30. One thirty. The old man asks you your stake. You may bet between 1 and 20 gold pieces, but not more than you possess. He tosses the white dice he has, bit, has been playing with to you and asks you to roll. Roll two dice, once for yourself and once for the old man. If your total is higher, you win the amount of your stake from the old man. If his total is higher, you lose your stake. You may continue for as long as you have gold pieces, and then leave through the door and return to the junction. At okay. Roll two dice, once for yourself and once for the old man. Okay. I roll for myself. Wait. Wager. Okay, let's roll for myself. Seven. Seven brushes. What does he get? Nine. Failure. Minus one gold piece. Oh, God. Okay, add two points to your skill. Stamina and luck scores if you win. Turn to 280. So I'm broke and I lose the chance to increase my skill, stamina, and luck. <sighs> oh well. Oh well. Okay, let's continue. Let's go to 280. Oops. Wait. Let's travel faster. Okay, 180. The passageway goes west and then south. Finally, you come to a stop at a dead end. You may return to the three-way junction and go east, turn to 70, or north, turn to 329. Or you may investigate the dead end, turn to 22. I think I'll investigate the dead end. Maybe there's another passage along the way. Who knows? Games like this, you can never be sure right let's go to 22 you poke around 22 you poke around looking for signs of secret doors but can find none you pause to ponder your situation and a small jet of gas hisses from the ceiling you cough and choke to clear your lungs but collapse to your knees your head spins and you flop to the floor in an unconscious heap when you come to, you look around in an unfamiliar place. Turn to four. Oh, this does not look good. Four. You find yourself in a north-south corridor. To the north, the passage turns east some meters ahead. To investigate, turn to 46. To the south, the passageway also turns east. Turn to 332 to go south. Okay, I think I'll take number 46. Who knows? Like I said, this game is about exploration, so we're never sure what we'll find. 46. You are standing in a short east-west passageway with a door blocking the way to the east. To the west, the passage turns southwards after several meters. To go round this bend, turn to four. To go through the door, Turn to 206. Okay, I think I'll try to go through the door with page 206. So, let's see. Two hundred six. You enter a large square room. In the center of the room is a gray-haired old man sitting at a desk. 
His desk is covered in papers and parchments of various sorts and he holds a long quill pen. He is surrounded by books. Thousands of them line the shelves around the walls from floor to ceiling. As you enter, he looks up at you. Will he recognize you? If you have been in this room before, turn to 284. If not, turn to 341. I don't recognize him. So, let's go to 341. Okay. Three hundred forty-one. Three hundred forty-one. The old man glares at you as you enter the room. You may either apologize, explain that you lost your way, and leave through either the door in the west, turn to forty-six, or south, turn to three hundred ninety-two. Walls, or alternatively, you may try to talk to the old man. If you want to talk to him, you can either be pleasant, turn to 220, or you can demand that he answers your questions, turn to 191. I think I'll try to be more diplomatic here. I'm not sure what's going to happen, so yeah, let's be diplomatic. 220? 220... He is enraged by your pleasantries. He waves his hand in the air, mumbles a few strange syllables, and then points at you. You feel your head spinning and pass out. You wake in a dead-end passage. Turn to 170, 171. Okay, 171. Okay, 171. There we go. You are standing at the north end of a short north-south passage. You are at a dead end. To investigate the wall, turn to 337. To go southwards, turn to 187. I think I'll investigate the wall. Okay. You find no secret passages, but as you press the walls, you hear a click. You feel dizzy and slump to the ground. When you come to, the surroundings look strange. Turn to 267. What's all this with getting dizzy? Wait, something opened. I need to close it. 267. Okay. Two hundred sixty-seven. Two hundred sixty-seven. Now stand. You now stand at a crossroads. To go north, turn to three hundred twelve. To go south, turn to two hundred forty-six. To go west, turn to seventy-nine. To go east, turn to three hundred forty-nine. I think I'll go east this time. Let's go to three hundred forty-nine. Three hundred forty-nine. You walk a few meters down the passage and find yourself at a dead end. You may either return to the crossroads, two hundred sixty-seven, or investigate the end of the passage. I'm going to see if I can investigate the end of the passage. Let's go to thirty. Three hundred forty-nine. Let's go to thirty. A loose stone falls out to reveal a rope in the rock. If you wish to pull it up, to pull it, turn to 67. If you feel it would be wiser to leave it alone, you can return to the crossroads. Turn to 267. I think I'm going to pull on the rope and see what happens. 
Let's go to 67. You pull the ro you pull on the rope and a small door swings open, revealing a passage into a north-south corridor. Will you return to the crossroads, turn to 267, or go through the secret door, turn to 177? I'm going through the secret door and see what happens. One seventy seven. Let's see what happens at one seventy seven. One seventy seven. You are standing in a north south passage. To the north, you can see a passage off to the east. To investigate, turn to fifty two. To the south, the passage turns westwards. You may go to the southern end of the passage by turning to three hundred ninety one. In the west wall in front of you is a secret door. To go through this, turn to one hundred seventy five. I think I'm going to try to investigate. So let's go to 52. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. You are standing at a T-junction where a passage to the east comes off a north-south corridor. To go south, turn to 391. To check for secret passageway on the way southwards, turn to 362. To go nor north, Turn to 354. To check for secret passages on the way northwards, turn to 234. To go east, turn to 291. I think... I'm gonna look for some secret passages. <coughs> Sorry. So 362 it is. Let's see what we find. Yeah, let's see what we'll find. 362. As you try the walls up the passageway, a secret door opens up along the west wall. Turn to 177. Okay. I think I've been here before though. But let's see where it goes. One seventy-seven. You are standing in a north-south passageway. To the north, you can see a passage off to the east. To investigate, turn to fifty-two. To the south, the passage turns westward. You may go to the southern end of the passageway by turning to three hundred ninety-one. In the west wall in front of you is a secret door. To go through this, turn to one hundred seventy-five. I think I'll take the secret door. One hundred seventy-five. One hundred seventy-five. You are standing in a narrow corridor. Behind you is a secret door to the east. Ahead of you is a crossroads. To go through the door, turn to one hundred seventy-seven. To walk to the crossroads, turn to two hundred sixty-seven. I'm gonna go continue forward now. Not sure where this leads, but let's see. Two hundred sixty-seven. You now stand at a crossroads. To go north, turn to three hundred twelve. To go south, turn to two hundred forty-six. To go west, turn to seventy-nine. To go east, turn to three hundred forty-nine. I think I'm gonna go west this time. So I'm gonna go. Wait, I'm gonna go north. So three hundred twelve. It is. Three hundred twelve. Let's see where we go at three hundred twelve. You follow a long narrow passage which goes north, then west, then north again, and you eventually find yourself at a crossroads. Turn to three hundred eight. Okay. You are standing at a crossroads. To the west, the passage goes on a few meters and turns northwards. To the north, passageway ends at a door. To the east, the passage continues and eventually turns southwards. Looking south, the passage goes on as far as you can see. 
To go west, turn to 187. To go north, turn to 54. To go south, turn to 160. To go east, turn to 354. I think I'll go north. So, yeah. 54. Fifty-four. You are standing outside a door at the north end of a north-south passage. To go south, turn to 308. To go through the door, turn to 179. I'm gonna go through this door. Let's see what happens. If I don't get killed immediately, that is. Although I am probably going to get killed there. Okay, let's see, 179, you have entered a large square room, broken pottery lies scattered all about, one large clay vase is untouched and is full of clear liquid, a large bowl is full of gold coins, as you enter the room the door slams behind you and you swing round to face a strange looking creature, half man, half bull who is glaring at you. He is a minotaur and he stalks towards you. He lowers his head, horns pointing at your chest and charges. You must fight him. Okay. And here we go. Uh, next one is after three attack rounds, you maneuver yourself round. Okay. Let's fight the minotaur. battle five so he's got a pretty high skill there so we're not sure how this is going to turn out so wait 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 my skill is seven my luck is seven he's got nine let's fight him he's pretty much a mini boss I think so he goes first 9 plus 3 equals 12 brushes 7 plus 6 equals 13 success Minotaur takes damage again nine plus four equals thirteen versus seven plus seven fourteen Another success. Minotaur takes two damage. So he's only got five stamina left. So another one. Nine plus four. Now let's see. Eight. That's pretty high though. Don't know if I can beat that. Equals nine plus eight. 17, yeah, it's 17 versus 7 plus. If I get a 12, I might. Ooh, 6. Failure. I take 2 damage. But it's the third round. After 3 attack rounds, you maneuver yourself round to be able to run through the door. If you wish to escape at this time, turn to 54 and pay the penalty. If you continue fighting and kill him, turn to 258. If you have already been in this room on this adventure and killed the Minotaur, you find it empty. Leave and turn to 54. I'm gonna kill this guy. Or at least die trying. So yeah. 9 plus. 9 equals 18. Versus. 7 plus 
5 equals 12. Failure. I take 2 damage. I'm down to 6 stamina. So 9 plus... I really should have used my luck. I could have brought his life lower earlier. 4. That's 13 versus 7 plus 6 equals 13 tie. So let's, so let's try that again. 9 plus. Mm, that's 15 versus 7 plus 11 that's good 18 success and to make it so let's test our luck no I won't test my luck I changed my mind so minotaur takes two damage so he's down to three three stamina so yeah I think I'll test my luck next if if I succeed okay I'm not sure I'm down to my let's see so he's got nine stamina so minus six he's down to three so if I succeed in the next round I'm gonna test my luck nine plus 11 equals 20. Ooh, that's high. Versus 7 plus 6 equals 13. Failure. I take 2 damage. So I'm down to 4. Let's see, maybe I can still fight him. 9 plus. 4 equals 13 versus 7 plus 4 equals 11 failure I take 2 damage that's what 6 I'm down to 4 I am down to four hit points. No, 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 actually that's two, four, six, eight. I'm down to my last two. Oh god, I think I'm gonna die in the next round. Nine plus six equals how much is that? Fifteen? Yeah, it's 15. 7 plus 6 equals 13. Failure. I take 2 damage. I die. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Oh, he was a mini boss. It, I guess it's not that surprising. So, okay. So, I think I'll end it there. That was... That's it. That's it for now. For our Warlock of Firetop Mountain. I'll see you again next time in another video. At least I showed you how not to do things and get yourself killed by a Minotaur. Hopefully next time we'll have better luck. So I'll see you guys again next time. So if you've enjoyed my content so far and want to see more like this, and you will see more like this because I am going to go back to this game pretty soon. I'm going to roll up a new character. So don't don't worry about that. I'm going to I'm going to get this done, don't worry. So yeah. I'm going to see to it. So if you want to see more like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications. And I'll see you all again in my next video. 
See you all next time.